For a while, I just stood there shocked, completely forgetting to close my mouth. Yeah, I've been forgetting to close my mouth, too. <laughs> just when I thought I had countered one of their strong points, their counterattack had been this reckless argument that I couldn't possibly have anticipated. <sighs> Is this going to be impossible after all? No, it isn't. You may be in a corner right now. I don't know what you're going to do to get out of it. But if they're using this f***ing Hempel's Raven f as their f***ing counterattack, I know you're going to be able to come up with something. Because this argument is f***ing stupid. To continue denying the witch on an island with no more than 18 people. And still believe in the innocence of those 18 people. Is that just a delusion? Am I just trying to escape reality? I don't know, my guy. At this point, I don't f***ing care. <laughs> My brain's done. My brain's checked out. Not yet. All right. Yeah. Well, l let me see the combat battler. Distract me from some from this bullshit, please. Don't give up this desperate struggle yet. Who cares about whoever's Raven? Yeah. Yeah. Let him know. Who gives a fuck about the Ravens? Yo. Sorry about the sports fans out there. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about your Ravens either. Who cares about the Ravens? Who cares? Who cares about whoever and his ravens? Let them know. Let them know, battler. Let them know. Let them know. Let them fucking know. I don't give a fuck about you or your goddamn ravens. Suck my dick. <laughs> uh, they're just trying to confuse me by bringing up weird bits of trivia. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what that is. I use the devil's proof. Don't feel uncertain about something you've used once. Believe in the spear you've drawn. And the, the devil's proof is a lot more solid than Hempel's bullshit. And then forcefully gouged it in. Yeah. We are. We are still in the opening part of the game and I am ready fucking fed up with this game <laughs> fucking set up the next board I've table flipped this board fuck you fuck you <laughs> like if this is a chess game I've already you've already said you know what this is essentially you saying listen I don't even know I, don't know. I was gonna try to make some kind of fucking chess analogy i don't even fucking care anymore i don't want to make analogies i don't want to make theories i don't want to think i just want to say fuck you for doing this to me and making my fucking day shit <laughs> fuck you oh yeah we're still in the opening part of the game that was my point we're still in the opening part of the game and i already want to end it i already want to fucking flip the table say fuck you load up a different board because this board sucks shit this board right here Fucking blows. Fuck you. I'm done. What? Using logic? Huh? Using logically acceptable reasoning? Yeah, God, I'm such a child for using this, for using logically acceptable reasoning. Goddamn. How foolish of me. I'm such an idiot. Such a fool. A moron. A downright dunce, if you will. For attempting to maintain logically acceptable reasoning. Yes. How foolish of me. Aren't I just the big goofball in the room now? I'm such a goof. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I talked about 19th person to keep it simple. But if you want to go into this bullshit with ravens and whatnot, let's get complicated. Let's get detailed with it. Akuma <laughs> 
Yeah. They counter my twisted logic with something even more twisted. Yeah, no doubt. So the only thing that could counter that would be even crazier twisted logic. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Throw reason out the goddamn window. It's been thrown out the window for a while. You know what? Fuck it. George Bush did Rokinjima. Boom. Y'all think it was some 19th person? Nah. Fuck 19. It was 43? It was 43. 43? 42? I forget which president number he was. He was the 42 number 42? I don't fuck. Does it fucking matter? Doesn't matter. The numbers don't matter. The logic doesn't matter. What does matter is that George Bush orchestrated this whole thing. Crazy. I was gonna try to make some kind of jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams joke, but I can't even think of what the fuck would work in this situation. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to say stupid shit to distract me from the stupid shit I'm already hearing. I'm not. I'm not even hearing it. I'm having to read it. Well, no, I am hearing a bit of it because the, the, the voice acting. Fuck you. I'm angry. I'm pissed. I'm upset. I'm so done. I am so done with this episode. I already fucking hate it. I am an hour and a half into this one recording session, like a grand total of like four and a half. I'm done. I'm fucking done with it. Throw it out the goddamn window. This episode sucks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's exactly what I, I, I did say something uh, earlier to that effect. It's like, okay, it's not the night. It's not, yo, the 19th person didn't do it. What about the 20th person? Oh, you proved that the 20th person? What about the 21st person, huh? So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So, he's, so yeah. Yo, I like Battler saying, fuck you. He's like, you know what? Okay, you proved the 19th person, but there's always one more than you assume. So you proved the 19th person? What about the 20th person? Oh, you proved the 20th person? What about the 21st? Oh, you proved the 21st? What about the 22nd? We go just so on and so forth. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm about it. Damn right. Prove it. Prove that George Bush is not responsible. Do it. I dare you. Where's your proof? I don't give a fuck that this was, yo, the 80s in Japan. Prove he didn't do it. Prove it. I'm waiting. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Go ahead. Prove it. Prove it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright. So I thought. Summon D's nuts, bitch. Summary. In short, Exactly. Can't believe George Bush was the culprit this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to argue with your childish fucking bullshit ass, logically unacceptable statements? Then yeah, we'll fucking play all day long. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, bitch. You 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 you, you, you want to pay a I can't even fucking talk anymore. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm stumbling over my fucking words. <laughs> Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what I am? Sick of your shit. That's what I am.
無限を殺すんだよ。見せてみろよ。わらわには真実を赤で語る力があろうが。うん。きやがったな。わらわが赤で語るとき、そこには一切の幻想がない。Alright, you want to speak in red? Say this for me in red. Tell me that your bullshit raven proof, or whatever the fuck you call it, you didn't even say proof, you just called it the, the raven theory, or what the fuck ever. I want you to say that in red. Say that it's logically acceptable. You can't, can you? Fuck you. <laughs> say that in red. Asshole. <laughs> what if I create 99 and a half? Huh? You say there's not... There's no more than 100. Okay? Let's dial it down. If you can prove the... If you prove the alibi for the 99th person, alright? And you say... And you prove the alibi for the 100th person, alright? But you say there's no more than 100. Then I'm gonna get real fucking petty with you. What about the 99 and a half person? What about the 99 and three quarters person? What about the 99 and 84 97ths person, huh? What about that one? You wanna get fucking petty with this shit? I'll get fucking petty. Is that, is, is that statement, yo, 99 and three quarters of a person, is that logically acceptable? No, it sure isn't. But you know what else isn't logically acceptable? You're fucking raven bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm sure everyone watching is pissed. It's like, dude, just shut up, alright? Just keep letting the story play. No. Fuck you. Fuck, <laughs> fuck everyone. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Okay, love is maybe too strong. No, it isn't. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching, that is. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yes. Go off. Go off, my man. I wonder what kind of creepy look I had in my face as I laughed right then. I don't care. That red sure is scary. Every time it jumps out, I'm driven into the depths of hopelessness. I've already realized something. There's no need to be overly afraid of the red. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Nothing has happened yet, but I already love it. Just seeing that face alone, Battler's confidence plus her with that expression. Oh, oh, I'm living right now. I, I, this, this is the payoff I've been waiting for, isn't it? She brings that raven bullshit, and this, this is, this is my prize for sitting through it, right? Oh, 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 the fattest loads being busted right now. Go on. Yes. 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 That's right. 
Holy shit, my dude. She can't say with Red for certainty that it was one of the 18. Oh my god. That's amazing. So you can't say for certain there's no that it was one of the 18. You can't say that in Red because it disproves your own existence. Yo! Yo! Battler! My man! My guy! I love you! Holy shit! That's right! The red wasn't always a weapon that worked in Beato's favor alone. Damn right it wasn't! Pop off, my guy! It was the other way around. If she used it the wrong way, it was dangerous enough that she could bring about her own death. If she used it carelessly and said something that ended up denying herself, that'd be exactly the same as self-destructing. Oh yeah, it'd make him feel like shit, but it'd totally disprove her whole, her whole fucking shtick. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beatrice's red was her true trump card. When that person speaks in red, it's definitely the truth. No amount of proof or counter arguments can change that. Until now, she's used that to severely wound me, and each time the tiny foundation supporting my heart gets split in half. However, if she uses it carelessly, then I can also gleam a little information about the truth. In the last game, I used that to my advantage, especially during the chapel's closed room trick, and almost completely got her boxed in at one point. But she was pretty sly herself. She learned from experience, and since then she started using a discretion in the timing of her red. This feeling of tension was almost literally like a battle with real swords. This is a high-level intellectual battle. Not, no, not an intellectual battle. Yeah, not an intellectual battle. Don't bring intellect into it. Logically unacceptable. It really is twisted logic. You're goddamn right it is. This was the world's craziest and worst battle of twisted logic. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, to use your bullshit. Yeah, go on. Do it. それらの人間について、さらに、なるほど。こいつは俺にとって致命傷になるだろうぜ。あれほど怯えていた赤、もはや水も怯えぬとは。Get fucked. たくましいやつ。ねえ。抜いてみろよ。Whoa, <laughs> I thought we were just going back and forth with stupid arguments here. Now that things are escalating. <laughs> Whoa, phrasing my guy. <laughs> wow. Whew. Yikes. <laughs> Agitator. Challenger. Drive her into a corner to make her speak in red. Of course, her red's always wiping out my only rays of hope. But don't be afraid of that. Yes. On this island, overcome with falsehoods and illusions, the only thing I can trust is the information she speaks in red. It's my only way across the chasm of hell. Just a single tight rope. Her merciless blood red blade is the only way I can survive. This isn't just walking on a tightrope, it's like literally walking on the edge of a blade. Of course I'm afraid. Because my victory condition is the de denial of witches, then to use her contrapositive logic, the culprit must be human. But I didn't want to search for a culprit amid the 18. That's what made me stick to a weak position, since I had to claim both that it couldn't be a witch, and that it couldn't be one of the 18. Last time I was unable to understand that, so that's where she hit me, leaving me tattered and defeated. But that's okay. Let her hit me. 
Let her attack. No problem. Someone said it once in an old sword fighting movie. That a good fortress has one, and only one, intentionally weak point. The enemy would gather there. They would be lured there. And that would be where the actual battle took place. As long as I understood my weak points, and as long as she wanted to attack those weak points, it was as if I was luring her into launching an attack there. Gauge the distance between us with care, retreating step by step. Make them move forward. The more she recklessly flourished that red, the more chances I would get to strike back. Don't be afraid of the red. Keep her cornered so that she'll have no choice but to refute me with the red. Yes! No matter how oppressively she speaks in red. That's right. That red itself is the same as fresh blood leaking from her wounds. Ah, oh, You have no idea how good it is to hear those words. Oh my god. Oh, fuck yes. どうしたよ。まずはこの島に合計で何人いるのか。さもないと。お前のカラスは俺に切り込めないぜ。やぶれかぶれが。こうもやりにくいとは。捨て身というやつは。いつの時代もあなどれんな。やはり金蔵の
That's right. The culprit isn't one of the 18. I won't suspect anyone. And since the culprit isn't a witch either, that means a 19th person exists on this island. And that's you. A person who, as grandfather's mistress of 30 years, has been secretly living in a hidden mansion in the forest for a long, long time. The human Beatrice. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm more than happy to admit he said that because you know what? It pisses you off. Oh, I live for it. <laughs> Fuck your cackles. For a while, Beatrice continued to laugh unpleasantly, <laughs> gloatingly, or maybe spitefully. I don't give a shit. Yeah, keep going, my man. Beatrice fell silent once again. She probably remained extremely cautious as long as confirming the number of humans on this island might give her some large disadvantage. Depending on the situation. The red has already become a foothold for my counterattacks. Now that we know this, it makes the red very risky for the witch. But if she couldn't repeat this, her Hempel's Raven wouldn't be effective. To break my devil's proof, she would need to settle the existence and number of people outside the 18 in red. That's right. She couldn't break the existence of a 19th person unless she used red. I have closed Beato in, giving her no choice but to speak in red. There really is a way to fight in this witch's game. Yeah. It's just like how a chess bishop can cut a thin line through enemy forces as long as there's a slight gap. It can only be effectively used on squares of the same color, but is very good at controlling enemy t controlling territory on the board. It looks like Beato also noticed her current plight. Yes! She couldn't just let such an important piece go, especially this close to the beginning of the game. If she pulled out her red treasured sword, it wouldn't be that difficult to save herself from this. But Beardo was completely aware that I was expecting it. She was afraid that a careless red truth might end up strangling her own neck. Yes! Because, in the first place, a witch is something that ought to be denied in red. Believe. Don't doubt. Witches don't exist. Something like that couldn't exist in this world. They can only exist in the balance between truths. They have a fragile existence curled up in these cracks, frantically trying to protect themselves from the brutal winds of truth. And they can only barely exist like a mirage by surviving on falsehoods and illusions. In other words, the red, which only witches can use, is the reality that might easily deny their very being. The more they brandish their red words, the more they begin to lose bit by bit that crack in truth inside which they can endure. That's why they don't want to use red words and carelessly lose that crack in truth, which is based on fuzzy information. Or illusions, in other words. That's because they understand that they're gradually being cornered. Of course, that bastard will never admit it. Because if she did, it'd be the same as admitting that she's something that can't exist in this world, like an imaginary number. Don't be afraid. Stay strong. I know that she's the one who re who's really been pierced to the bone. After all, her red treasured sword can't be used without a lot of preparation. Age. 